So, I ordered these from Amazon. I tried to get two 200 watt flexible solar panels, okay? So the company claims this is 400 watts of solar. I guarantee this is not 400 watts of solar. I literally have no idea how much it is. But I am going, and remember part of it was defective. So I got a refund, half, 50%. So, but it came with cables and a charge controller. And someone mentioned in the comments today that you can use uh, different systems, but use different, you know, different solar panels in addition to what I already have, but to use two separate charge controllers. So that's what I'm gonna do. That was really helpful information. Um, I'm guessing these are maybe, maybe 50, but I don't, I have no idea. The company claims they're 200. I call BS, but I still need the extra solar to help my new um, uh, oh, what's it called? I can't remember. I'll tell you in a minute. The battery I have. But anyway, um, so So just like on my um, first solar panel, that one, I am going to use uh, Eternabond tape. This is Eternabond tape. I mean, this stuff is magic. It... You know, I used this to fix my roof, not on my van, but my little, um, my little house that I live in. I had a, um, the, uh, uh, skylight, can you see me? The skylight on my roof, um, broke when the palm fronds, uh, cracked it, and this this is magic. I mean, this repairs roofs. So, I'm just going to tape these um, uh, solar panels. Let's see. This stuff's kind of spendy. This was about... Well, I got two inch, um, I think it was about $35, but it could, could have been more than that. I mean, this stuff is not going, this panel is not going to go anywhere. do it to there for now and then I'll move up. Eternabon also makes a um, double-sided tape, but RV Rebel Girl says she has used it and she didn't think it worked very well. So, come on. are not okay okay there we go
This is a 50 foot roll of two inch Dermabond tape. It comes in lots of different sizes. It's so strong, it like sticks to the top of the car. Okay, now I'm gonna get down and uh, get the other one to put right next to it. You guys don't need to see me watch um, putting both of them up there, so I'll rescue you. Okay, so I put both of them up, and now I just have to wait for my Amazon delivery. Um, if you'll remember correctly, one of the Y cables was uh, damaged or just um, faulty, defective. So I had to buy one of those. They're like nine bucks or something like that. And as soon as it gets here, I will finish connecting it. Okay, so my cables came and put, this is the female from one don't tell me I'm gonna have the same trouble okay that went in okay and same and then we have See, one of these doesn't work. One of these is broken. Um, the one that came with the solar panels. My neighbors are all out there playing, uh, playing cards. I don't want to talk too loud. Oh, dear. They sent me the... Okay. Oh, dear. Excuse me, I'm just kind of... <sighs> okay, this is the one that came with the solar panel that is defective. So, we have this. Now we have four going into two, and that's <sighs> something's not right here. look at something. Okay, so I bought um, these will plug into this as an extension that will go s directly to um, the charge controller. And it's a lot of cordage up here. Come on. didn't measure. This is 10 feet long. Six feet would have been plenty, but oh well. I can cut it off. I might cut it off. Yeah, this is pretty long. Okay, so I threaded them right here under the uh, 
lift back, hatch back, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, these are really, really too long, but I'm going to show you where they go. So those supposed um, 400 watt solar panels that I just installed came with this cheap little charge controller. And um, I need my glasses for this. Right here is where you um, connect the solar. And then you go out from here to the battery. I'm not sure what this one is. I'll have to look look on the... Uh, I know I don't have anything in that slot on my other charge controller, but like I said, I will be needing two charge controllers now. So... Oh, I'm looking for the screwdriver. It's in my hand. So I need to get a smaller screwdriver that fits. Okay, so I need to loosen these to make room for the wire in these two slots. I got a smaller screwdriver, but I'm not sure if it's doing anything or not. Let's see. Negative is this one. Yeah, I don't know. got to be sure to put the positive into the positive and the negative into the negative. I may have, you know, I had a choice between 8 gauge and 10 gauge, and I got the 10 gauge, but it's too big. I didn't even see a, um, a 12 gauge, and if I'm backwards don't laugh at me but I'm pretty sure that as the numbers get smaller the wire gets bigger don't laugh at me okay yeah I don't know Okay, it took a really small screwdriver, but now it's worked, working, and you can see where these two slots are open and ready for the, I may have to trim these back. I don't know if this is going to be long enough, but... in there but yeah it came right out these are this is way too heavy I'm gonna have to see if there's another option a better option
yeah. This isn't going to work. Gosh darn it. We want to leave in a couple days and... It's not looking like we'll be able to. If I have to keep waiting for Amazon packages... Well, crap. Excuse my mouth. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a smaller gauge. Like maybe even, I don't know, 14? If this is 10, then I need 12 or 14, right? I know there's a few of you out there that know what I'm talking about. And uh, will tell me in the comments. For one thing, I do think I need to cut some of this off. This is just not long enough. Okay, well, I know it looks like a mess because that's a lot of wires and a lot of connectors. But that's what I had to work with. So let's go see what I did. Okay, I connected the two panels there into one Y connector here and then from the Y connector down into the van right there and I have now two charge controllers this is my old one which controls the 135 watt um, panel or 130 maybe on my roof and then this came with the two little um, panels up there and they they both come with this these wires come to this charge controller and I cut the wires I shortened them and I added connectors, so now I have no alligator clips. So I like that a lot better. So that is my um, Redodo 200 amp hour battery. And we will be heading out Wednesday. And, uh, and remember, we're going to have a meetup in Quartzite. And I will be testing out my battery at that time. Thanks for watching you guys. We'll see you there.